Hi, my name is Ken and we're here today to talk to you about Ricky's Refuge. It's a no-kill animal sanctuary located in Orange County, Virginia. This is Vincent. He's our three-legged spokes cat. And this is Autumn Sky Port, Miss Virginia East Coast. How are you doing? Hi, I'm, glad, I'm so pleased to be here. Well, Thanks we're happy me. to have you. Tell us a little bit about your title. Well, I'm the reigning Miss Virginia East Coast USA. It is a pageant for many different age divisions. I was the winner for the Ms. Age Division, which is ages 29 all the way up to grandmothers even. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. And one of the pleasures of holding a title is the ability to perform uh, community service. And I have chosen this year to um, promote my title through working with Ricky's Refuge and working with animals just like Vincent. Oh, well, how did you get involved with Ricky's? Well, it's kind of an interesting story. I actually own several rescue pets myself, and I went down to Georgia to adopt a kitten that I'd fallen in love with. She was a little white flame point Siamese, and I adopted her from an organization called Winging Cat Rescue. And the lady there, a wonderful lady named Donna, had asked, since I have an SUV, she said, are you going back to jo um, from Georgia to Virginia? And I said, well, yes, of course, I'm coming home. She said, well, I need you to take some supplies to Ricky's Refuge if you could. Oh, wow. And I said, well, where is it? She said, Orange, Virginia. I had no idea where Orange, Virginia was, <laughs> but I said, okay, no problem. So we loaded up a couple hundred pounds of supplies. And wow. as a result, I got a wonderful tour of Ricky's Refuge. And not only did I get to do a good deed, but more importantly, I got to see where all these wonderful animals go, the ones who can't be placed in shelters, the three-legged kitties like Vincent here. It's just a wonderful, wonderful place for children and for families and people to go and visit the animals and to see how wonderful their lives are now. It is. It's an amazing place. Tell us a little bit more about Ricky's Refuge. Well, Ricky's Refuge is an over 360-acre no-kill animal sanctuary, and they take animals from all over the East Coast. As a matter of fact, uh, Winging Rescue, Winging Cat Rescue, has sent several animals there in Georgia that were special needs animals. Sometimes cats and dogs and other animals have a difficulty being placed. And they also have refuge for animals that you wouldn't even think about, such as iguana, guinea pigs, Easter peeps. A lot of people adopt animals and they don't always realize the difficult care that's required for some types and some breeds. Absolutely. And the great thing about Ricky's is that they allow these animals to live out their lives in a natural, wonderful environment and they also take in the hard luck cases that a lot of people are afraid to, to tackle. And this way we can avoid euthanasia. And many of these animals are placed. It is a no-kill shelter. Now, that sounds like a lot of time and work. What can the people watching do to help? Well, one of the things people can do doesn't even cost any money at all. There is a current contest right now on Pet Finder. The link is on rickysrefuge.org. There's the banner. And you can go daily and vote every day. Every day. Every day. And what we will be able to win if we win is a grant anywhere from a thousand all the way up to ten thousand dollars goes a long way towards feeding over twelve hundred of these wonderful animals. Definitely that does. only takes the computer and a little bit of your time. Also, we have a wish list of supplies if you're able to donate supplies. There's lots of things that are involved in caring for lots of different animals, food and washing bedding, things like that. And of course, we can always use donations. Those are great for buying the things that we're not able to get otherwise. Absolutely. Cash always helps in oh, yeah. any kind of rescue <laughs> like this. They have uh, over 1,200 animals and uh, obviously have to feed and medicate those animals each and every day. So it takes a lot of money and a lot of people's time to, to uh, run this organization. Yes, it does. So now uh, tell me, uh, where can people come and meet you and, and see Rick? And, and, see, and see Vincent, our and see spokes Vincent. kitty, too. Well, I will be at the uh, golf tournament on July 16th. We're having a golf tournament at Cannon Ridge. That is in Fredericksburg. It's a $100 uh, entry, and it is for benefiting the cause of Ricky's Refuge. Four-man teams will be $400. There will be a golf tournament as a fundraiser. We also will have an open house soon on August 15th where you can come out and bring the family and you can actually visit the animals. It is a working shelter and a working farm. It's a good experience for children because unlike a zoo, you get to actually interact a lot more with these pets and learn a lot about their care and different species. Very family friendly. The admittance for that is only two cans of food. And of course, we hope you bring more, but the, yes. uh, the tours are fantastic. I actually help lead those. Uh, you get in, like she said, you get to go in and you interact with the animals themselves. Mm -hmm. You feed them, uh, pet them, give them the love and care that they are always looking for. Thank you very much for coming out here Thank and you. for bringing Vincent. Yeah. And uh, we're going to take a short break and we'll be right back. Hi, 
Hi, we're back, and now I have with me Katerina. She is the volunteer coordinator at Ricky's Refuge, and this is Leaper. Leaper is the teen, the spokes cat for the Teens Care Program. Hi, Katerina. Welcome. Hi, thank you. Tell us a little bit about the Teens Care Program. The Teens Care Program is a program for 13 through 7 uh, through 18 year olds who um, would like to come out and learn how to take care of all of our animals at Ricky's Refuge. Um, we're having meetings now on Thursdays. Um, this summer it's a 10-week program from June 22nd to September 2nd. Uh, they're going to be coming out to the refuge from 8 to 4. They get to um, interact directly with our animals and they get to do special projects around the refuge to benefit the, the uh, animals as well. Oh, that's great. What are the uh, goals of the Teens Care Program? Um, it's really easy to remember. You just have to spell out the word care. Okay. Um, C is for the teens get to care for our animals. They get direct contact with them. Um, a is for the teens get to actively change Rickies and um, do projects that are benefiting to them, such as doing murals or making cat per uh, perches. Um, they'll be able to do things like cat knit boxes that all the cats are just going to love. Um, R is for teens will help raise money for Rickies. Okay. We have lots of fundraisers um, planned for the teens this summer between um, car washes and a fundraiser at Funland in, in Central Park um, that will be planned and that's um, going to be on the website for information about that. And then E is for we empower our teens to make a difference. Um, and that is mostly they're able to take leadership roles at Rickies and come up with ways um, that they'd like to help either through making their own fundraiser or coming up with a plan to help animals. Um, we have teens who are very uh, leadership oriented and we're glad to have them and we're looking forward to a really fun summer with this program. Ah, it sounds great. Now, uh, how would just everybody else volunteer? Or what, what, what do volunteers do at Ricky's? They get to do a pretty much of everything. They get to learn how to t uh, care for all of our animals. They get to learn how to feed water, clean up after them. They get to um, help us with some of the chores that our staff um, needs help with, stuff, stuff like working on Mount Dishmore or <laughs> um, helping with the cages, cleaning out the cages there and um, interacting with our animals. Sometimes we don't have time with all taking care of the 1,200 animals to actually sit and play with some of our animals. So um, volunteers who get to come out and help working with us, then they get to go back and play with the animals after some of their chores are done. And just give them the love that they need. Exactly. Just like everybody else. Well, not everybody is close enough where they can go out to Ricky's to volunteer. What would people who live far away, how could they volunteer at Ricky's? They'd be able to volunteer through events that we have. We're going, we actually do a lot of off-site events. Some are in Richmond, some are in Charlottesville. Um, we have some that are up in Baltimore. Um, they would get to come to Ricky's to train a little bit on how to speak about Ricky's. Okay. And then we would be able to have them go and represent us at different events. Also, anybody who'd like to plan fundraisers, we are also um, always needing people who like to do fundraisers, things like parties or um, bake sales, car washes in your neck of the woods would be great. Um, anything like that, we can always coordinate. We have um, a wonderful person who's willing to do some graphic designing for us. That doesn't actually have to be at the refuge. It can be done at home and then, you know, send it to us if you'd like, or we, we would work it out for you um, to where you can use your talents. We also do um, crafters. Lots of crafters like to do their crafts at home and then donate their craft goods oh, to Ricky's great. for our craft sales. That's great. Well, I definitely recommend volunteering there if you can. Uh, I started out as just going on a tour and uh, I enjoyed it so much. I went back and volunteered a lot and now I lead tours. So how do we sign up to be a volunteer at Ricky's? Um, you would go to the website. Uh, on the website it's rickysrefuge.org. Um, you would find my email under the how to volunteer section. Um, and you just email me or give us a call and I will be in contact with you as soon as possible. It's usually within a day that I get back to you and um, we'll set up a time and we'll go over what you want to do and how you want to help and find ways for you to help at Ricky's. And that's ages? That's all ages. Everybody. We take everybody. Okay. We would do um, any children less than 12, they would just have to have a parent to come out and volunteer with the animals, but they're very welcome to come out and help. That's great. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Thank you, Leaper, and we'll be back in a little bit. Thank you.
Hi, welcome back. I'm here with Katrina, our uh, teen volunteer coordinator, and we have with us two more of the wonderful inhabitants of Ricky's Refuge. This is Tom and Jerry, and Tom and Jerry are our guinea pigs. They're available for adoption. They're just one of the many of the 20 different species that we have here at Ricky's Refuge. Uh, one of the playing things that we mentioned earlier was about how you could get involved in events that pertain to helping the refuge. We have an upcoming golf tournament, which you can meet me at. That will be July 16th. That's in Fredericksburg. It's at Cannon uh, Base. The price for that's $100 per golfer, four-man team, $400. And what's wonderful about that is it goes to help Ricky's Refuge. We have over 1,200 animals, over 600 cats, a couple of guinea pigs, as you can see. And there are also other ways, though, that people can help, such as the Shelter Challenge. Is that not right? Yes. The Shelter Challenge is done online. It's a once-daily vote. Um, you would go to the animal, animalrescuesite.com and type in uh, Ricky's Refuge. And it takes just about five seconds every day. Um, right now, we're number one in Virginia, and we'd like to stay that way Absolutely. if you all could help us. Um, it, you can vote every single day and get all your friends and family to vote as well. And it's, it's something that takes only a few seconds of your time, doesn't cost anything at all. And we have a possibility of even winning $10,000 if we win the national challenge. But first, we've got to win that state challenge, which is coming up. Another way that you can help Ricky's Refuge, it's a lot of fun, is our pet photo contest. We will be taking photo entries for $10 per pet. You can enter as many times as you like, and any kind of pet. And that includes guinea pigs, iguanas, snakes, any kind of pet you have. And the winner will get a wonderful Ricky's Refuge t-shirt, just like this. And their wonderful pet will be featured in our newsletter and also on our website, so you can have bragging rights for your favorite pet. And another way that people don't know that they can help, but maybe we could share with them, is our wish list we mentioned earlier. There's a lot of things that are involved with helping run a refuge like this. Yes, we need lots of things from um, cat and dog food, definitely. Um, we also need things like dish detergent, um, laundry detergent. A lot of cleaning of dishes. A and lot of bedding. cleaning, and yeah. we definitely need lots of cleaning supplies. Um, we also have horses and cows and goats and pigs, and all oh. of those need their own separate type of feed, too. So um, anything from, you know, um, horse feed or cow feed, all of that. All the um, way to produce for all our the little way guinea pig friends. For, for I saw they were eating pigs. some lettuce earlier today. There's bird seed that our bird friends, we have an yep. emu yes, who needs to be emus, fed. Yep. And um, another way that people may not realize is the coupons. Something as simple as your Sunday paper, we can use coupons because not mm -hmm. all of our donations are able to meet the needs of over 1,200 animals. Exactly. And sending in your coupons for dog food, cat food, cat litter, uh, laundry supplies like you mentioned, dish mm -hmm. detergent, paper towels, there's just so many things that are necessary in running a large working farm like this. Mm -hmm. And something as simple as sending us an envelope of coupons can really help save hundreds of dollars for this wonderful organization, which lets our pets have the benefit of every dollar that's donated by those who help out with Ricky's. Right. And you can find out more about how to donate coupons, mailing them in, or supplies, bring them by Ricky's. And also, of course, cash donations are always welcome, as well as find out more about all of our events at our website. Our website is www.rickysrefuge.org. And again, don't forget to vote in our shelter challenge. We have uh, lots of pets that are counting on you, and not just cats and dogs, but every kind of species. We have about 20 species now, don't we? We have about 23. 23. Mm -hmm. And Tom and Jerry are grateful for everything that you do for us, mm -hmm. and we really appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of the um, help and the wonderful support we've received from the community. And we look forward to seeing you the next time at Ricky's Refuge. Thank you. Thank yes. you. Please come and visit us. We're back. This is Iggy the Iguana. He was found wandering around Washington, D.C., if you can imagine that. He's just another one of the many, many animals that end up at Ricky's Refuge. Uh, they're, it's, a, like we said before, a no-kill animal sanctuary in Orange County, Virginia. Uh, there are many ways you can help. You can volunteer even if you don't live close. You, there's many ways to, to help. You can go to the website vote on the shelter challenge every day, click on the banner, and uh, that'll help us win up to $10,000 for Ricky's, which you can't imagine how far that goes. So every animal takes a different road to get to Ricky's, but once they're at Ricky's, they have reached their forever home.
Thanks for joining us.